Tech here and today I'll be doing a video tutorial to help you set up your Raspberry Pi if you're on a Mac. So hardware wise you're going to need a couple of things uh, if you want to save this I'm going to be annotating this video so turn annotations on and you'll have a nice little checklist. So what you need is an HDMI cable and a monitor that you're going to plug your Raspberry Pi to a USB keyboard so that you can you know do some input output and an SD card if you have the older version of the Raspberry Pi that's the Raspberry Pi first original model uh, you're gonna need a normal SD card but if you're on the Raspberry Pi 2 model B then you're gonna need a micro SD card so basically this tutorial is centered around how to get your SD card sort of up and running because you know the hardware you can just go in uh, take it and you'll be on your way but how to get the software part running so you can start using your Raspberry Pi so the first thing you need to do is format the SD card so head to the description of this video below and they will have this link to the SD association you're going to go through this end user license agreement and hit accept that's going to come up with a package it's a piece of software called SD formatter once you've finished installing that, if you do a quick spotlight search for it, you'll find that there is now a, a program called SD Formatter. And just to show you, I'm in the middle of formatting my SD card for Raspberry Pi use. What you need to make sure is make sure you check Overwrite Format instead of Quick Format. Uh, this might take a while, uh, about Mm, about a minute a gig so if you've got a 32 gig SD card like me it's gonna take about half an hour once that's done you need to head to the second link in the description this is to the official Raspberry Pi website and download noobs noobs is an out-of-the-box software to help you start developing on Raspberry Pi quickly so there are two separate files here you can choose which one you want to download I'd personally go with just the normal noobs. Uh, reason being, if you're going to download Noobs Lite, you're going to need an Ethernet cable as well to connect your Raspberry Pi to the internet so that it can finish the Noobs download when, you know, directly on the Raspberry Pi device. So to keep things simple, just uh, download this one here. Uh, a zip is fine. Once you've downloaded the zip, all you need to do is click on the file, it's going to automatically extract all the files and then drop those files onto your SD card and you're good to go. So stick that SD card into your Raspberry Pi and you'll be on your way. So I hope this tutorial was beneficial. If you've had any trouble, leave a comment below or else uh, hit like and hit subscribe. Thanks.